imagine you are on a ship which is in distress or you need to abandon the ship on a life raft in the middle of the ocean how will you contact another ship or rescue authorities for help for such situations a ship carries a sart sart or search and rescue transponder is an extremely vital equipment on the ship as it performs the job of a signal man it is a vital equipment during distress as it helps in locating the position of the vessel in case it goes off track these rescue transponders are made of waterproof components which protects it against damage by water sarts are essentially battery operated hence can be operative for a long time sarts are placed on board in ships inside the lifeboats and in the life rafts for use in emergency situations search and rescue transponders are designed to remain afloat on water for a long time in case the vessel finds itself submerged in water the bright color of sarts enables their quick detection whereas the combination of transmitter and receiver enables it to transmit as well as receive radio signals sart machines have been instrumental in rescuing several crafts and ships by reacting to the sart signal sent from an x band radar typically of 9 gigahertz if the sart detects a signal it immediately transmits 12 pulses on the same frequency this signal is seen by the radar as echoes and will be displayed on the screen as a series of 12 dots with a gap of 0.6 miles between them the first dot is at the position of the radio transponder and the others go in a straight line towards the edge of the screen these signals are known as homing signals the response is usually displayed on radar screens as a sequence of dots on a x band radar which helps rescuers reach the vessels in time If the rescue vessel approaches the sart the 12 dots will become short arcs these arcs increase in size if the vessel gets closer if the rescue vessel is very close the rescue transponder will be activated permanently by the side lobes of the radar antenna the signal of the sart will then be visible as 12 complete circles on the radar screen This will tell the search and rescue team that they have more or less arrived. Passenger and cruise ships must carry at least two sarts. Cargo ships of 500 gross tonnage and above should carry at least two search and rescue responders located on each side of the ship in a visible and accessible location usually in navigation bridge so that it can be activated or carried in the survival craft during emergency cargo ship of 300 gross tonnage and above must carry at least one sart one sart should be provided on each survival craft life crafts carried on row row passenger ships shall be fitted with a radar transponder in the ratio of one transponder for every four life rafts the transponder shall be mounted inside the life raft so its antenna is more than 1 meter above the sea level when the life raft is deployed in case of canopied reversible life rafts the transponder shall be so arranged so that it can be readily accessed and can be manually erected when the life raft is deployed containers of life rafts fitted with transponders shall be clearly marked search and rescue transponder is also provided with a foldable extension handle or telescopic pole which can be used to raise the height of the instrument to 1 meter above sea level when in use additionally the sart must not be obstructed by any metal objects or by an inflatable radar reflector if the sart is mounted at least 1 meter above sea level and the vessel x band radar is at 15 meter above sea level then a detectable range of 5 nautical miles is possible this can be increased significantly 
to approximately 40 nautical miles by a helicopter or plane flying at an altitude of 1000 meter or above. The battery of the radio transponder should be operational for 96 hours in standby condition. In working condition, it should be operational for 8 hours. The battery of the SART should be replaced every 2 to 5 years. The search and rescue transponder must be operable in temperature between minus 20 degrees to 55 degrees centigrade. When there is an emergency on the ship, it is important to only use one search and rescue transponder as multiple activated SARTs confuse rescuing ship or coast guards. When the ship's crew has abandoned the ship in the lifeboat or survival craft, it should be first maneuvered away from the ship before activating it so that the ship does not block the receiving or transmitting signal. If the officer on watch notices the pattern formed by the SART appearing on his X-band radar display, the officer should immediately inform the master of the ship and the nearest Maritime Rescue Coordination Center. Try to contact survivors by VHF on channel 16. Try to identify location of SART visually using binoculars if possible. Alter course to search for a life raft or lifeboat at the SART location.